If you're a web developer or you work with one, you might be used to dealing with colors in hexadecimal. And if you have a pretty web page up like this, you can of course go ahead and grab the color picker and simply pick a color from the screen. But the new color gadget also has an option to deal directly with hexadecimal colors. So the next time you shout across the office, hey, what's the color of the button, and somebody shouts back CC9933, you don't have to pull out a calculator or open Photoshop to figure out what that is in real people numbers. Uh, so let's go ahead and go into the preferences, edit preferences, control E. And if we go down here to the units option, there's a whole lot of options here for how you want the color picker to behave by default. And if I go ahead and twirl open the RGB mode option here, there's an option to show the hexadecimal field. So I'll go ahead and activate that option. And now you can see that when we have the RGB mode active, there's a field under here for the hexadecimal. So I can just go ahead and type in CC9933 and I'm off to the races with my orange color. Uh, one other option that I'm gonna point out while we're here in the preferences is that the new RGB sliders are dynamic so that they actually update the color as you move one slider, the colors adjust in the other two sliders. If you like the old ones, there's an option here to choose the old RGB sliders. And now the color bars will appear just like they did in prior versions of Cinema 4D, except with the larger actual color bar. So I hope the option to deal with hexadecimal colors in Cinema 4D makes it a little bit easier to deal with the web designer in your life.